If you are a woman here in Michiana and maybe you're interested in starting your own business and you're not sure how to do it, this is the place to be. We're over at Rio Park Events in uh, South Bend and I have with us this whole beautiful team here. Thank you guys for joining us, or ladies rather. Mm -hmm. This is an exciting thing. This is the sixth annual mm -hmm. Women's Entrepreneur Summit. And I know, Cindy, this is your brainchild. It is, we're really excited about it. It's been a huge success for the women in our community. Absolutely, now for those who haven't been to the summit before, Tell us a little bit about what it looks like. Oh, it's amazing. When you come into a room with 100 women all uh, networking and talking to each other and uh, learning about each other's business, we have 19 speakers. Oh, wow. That's a lot. It's amazing. We have uh, eight women entrepreneurs who are going to be sharing insights and resources and okay. information that will be helping their fellow entrepreneurs. And then also we have uh, the rest of the speakers are community resources. Oh, great. So if you're wondering you know, what's in town that would be able to help in this yeah. area, um, you could come here and learn that too. And the summit also mostly focuses on, um, as well as the uh, nonprofit organization that we work with, it focuses on connecting women to role models. Oh, great. Men okay. Mentors, uh, c resources, mm -hmm. like value business resources, and also confidence building. So those kind of the areas we focus on. That's amazing. And Tracy, you've been to the summit before. Oh, yes. And uh, you're a part of the summit. Oh, wow. <laughs> how how it, has it impacted your growth? Well, you know, it's, it's so amazing that uh, Cindy investigated about how many, what's the percentage of women owners, you know, business, entrepreneurs yeah. in our community. And so to seek those out and to join a team that's um, supporting uh, mentors and coaches, you know, and I was like, you know what, I have to be in this space with these group of wonderful women learning about their business and resources, resources, resources. So I'm just, um, I'm excited. So it's happening yeah. on the 16th and there's prizes, you know, there's uh, resources. You'll meet all type of people to Absolutely. help you with your business. That's amazing. Yeah. And Cindy, you know, the, this has been going on for six years. Talk about how it's grown. Well, it's really, actually, we pretty much attract the same number of people every year. Okay. So we usually stay, some years it's 120, some 75, but it's usually right around 100 women. And, uh, but the quality of the seminar has, or the summit has really changed. Sure. The um, women have changed, you know, our cities have changed, our county has changed, and women are more motivated, more excited yeah. uh, to talk to other women entrepreneurs because, you know, being an entrepreneur can be very isolating. You're mm. stuck up with your kids or your husband or inside your house trying to create a business. So it's really great to get out. And then from this um, event, women, we encourage them to come together as a community other places. Uh -huh. So Absolutely. part of the event is to leave having made three appointments with someone who's Oh, here. great. So kind of or an so action kind of right after, Right. Okay. Kind of after get together, I guess gotcha. you could say. Gotcha. And you guys have been doing it here at Rio Park Events for a few years now. Sarah, you are also an entrepreneur yourself. Yes. Talk to us about what it means to have an event like this in your own space. Uh, definitely very valuable. Um, I love the collaboration and the support and the motivation from other women business owners and having everybody in the same, all the ladies in the same room is very valuable to my business as well. So we enjoy having And you guys event. have been doing this for a few years here at this location. Yes, yep. Absolutely. We have been open for four years. This will be our third year doing it here at this location. Yeah. What's it like to be a woman business owner here in Michiana? It is exciting. Um, <laughs> I love that. Every, it's exciting. I every like that. Every year gets more exciting. Um, and I've noticed, especially since 2020, there are a lot more women business owners Great. every year. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's exciting. I'm looking forward to next year. Awesome. And Cindy, talk a little bit about those numbers. I know we talked about them a little bit before, uh, before we started. But how many women business owners are there in our community? Well, when we started a CDR Health Women's Initiative, in uh, 20, when did we start? 2018. Um, it really was pr a pretty low amount. In St. Joe County, only 2% of the businesses were women owned. In Indiana, it was 37%. Uh, In the United States, it was 39%. Wow. And we had a pretty big uh, turnover rate. About 70% of the business went out of business. So if you're starting with 2% and 70% go out of them. And you know, some people go, oh, I don't, I don't know that that's true. Like, 
Well, it seems unbelievable. It, it yeah, does. It, it does. That. <laughs> but I just like to challenge everyone um, to the next time you need to buy something, go to a woman-owned business and mm -hmm. see if you can find one. Mm. Because it's really, it was really surprising that first year in 2018, we were putting on the event and we could not find women in every field that we needed to grow the event. Mm -hmm. So now we have a lot of more women who are starting up. And as a result of the summit, we started a mentoring program. So now oh, we have great. a woman entrepreneur mentoring program. Oh, fantastic. And what we're seeing is a lot more uh, women wanting to start a business. So that's yeah. been a big change. And over the years, the new, um, the 2020 census now says that in St. Joe County, 12% of the businesses are owned by women. So, Amazing. So 12 is good, better yeah. than 2%. <laughs> it's a lot better than that, but I mean, we have a lot of yeah. more room to grow. Absolutely, it's not 34%, which is the rest yeah. of Indiana, so. Tracy, how does that look to you to be, uh, now that you have your own business as well too, but as a mentor to other women who are up and coming? Yes, yeah, so over the summer, we had interns. So mm. you have these young ladies making bracelets, they're painting, they're baking, and it's like there's that support, there's that group. So I always you know, try to do one-on-ones with um, different right. business owners, or we meet you know, at a restaurant and we just talk over coffee. You know, what, how can we help each other? So yeah, the group and the pack of women interested in growing their business has been very vital for me and to have a mentor like Cindy is just amazing because she goes you know what I can help you with that yeah <laughs> and if she doesn't know she knows <laughs> somebody find it. so Cindy's yeah. amazing I know you've been doing such wonderful stuff for our community here I've known you for a lot longer oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I do. since this event is all about women-owned businesses tell us a little bit about what do you do with your business Domestic violence awareness is my baby. So we represent in a spot where you can come and you can talk about what is domestic violence. We have the meetings every second, excuse me, every first Monday of the month. And we talk about what is stonewalling, what is gaslighting. That's mm. where my passion and my vision is. But Unique Boutique, it's the nice shiny things that we have, but um, our whole goal is to spread domestic violence awareness and it's make a purchase against violence at oh, Unique Boutique International wow. okay. to help with the safe home. And I was telling you beforehand, I actually have some items from your collection too, yes. so that's great to know that so it, you is, helped. it is supporting a cause too. Yes. Awesome. Sarah, tell me about your business. Yeah, so I own Rio Park Events. Uh, we're a versatile event space in River Park. And we host a variety of private events such as quinceañeras, wedding receptions, birthdays, anniversaries. And then we also offer event decor as well. Oh, um, so cool. from time to time, we do host pop-up shops and craft fairs. Yeah. Um, but we're very excited to be hosting the Women's Entrepreneur Summit this year. Yeah, and, and just being in this space, it's expanding. You guys are growing within this space yes. too. <laughs> yeah, we are booking also for next year. Um, so um, you can find us on our website, www.realparkevents.com, and then you can book online and schedule tours of the space as well. Wonderful, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, when is the date? How can people, do they need to register? Do they need to get tickets? Tell us about that. Yeah, the, you have to register in advance. Okay. You can't get any tickets on that day. Okay. So you can go onto our website, womensentrepreneursummit.org. So it's more than one, womensentrepreneursummit.org. And uh, you can buy your ticket there. It's $59. And we also have scholarships available. Okay, great. And then um, the summit itself, goes from 10 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon. Then people can come and register and have breakfast from 9 to 10. And then after from 4.30 to 6, we have after hours for mingling. And oh, great. So it's really Making great. Making community connections. Absolutely. And we have a DJ coming to help us run oh, everything. Oh, okay. So it's really exciting. GWP is going to be here. He's a big supporter of what we're doing. And um, it's just really a fantastic event. I mean, people leave so inspired. Yeah. I mean, I it's, it's very, very exciting. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you guys. Thank you all of you for putting so this much. on, making this an incredible event for women in our community who are already business owners or maybe they're thinking and are considering it. This is just something that's really important, especially here in Michigan. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. It's been great.